In Mariupol, no one is safe. Run fast, this mother says. Don't cry, run fast. The child does. Sobbing. This is a rare up-close look at the besieged port city from a family who endured weeks huddled in a dark, cold basement to escape the shelling. The pictures seem more at home in a history book than a smartphone. But this is 2022, and yet in southeastern Ukraine, they're scrounging for food and watching their lives burn. There is no way to describe this, Luba Marchenko says. She took those videos. This is her seven-year-old son, Artem. Those were his cries. He ran fast. God saved us and we survived, she says. What would you tell Putin? Please stop this madness, she responds. Lubov says the building above where they were staying was hit twice. So were others. They felt the blast wave. In a last-ditch effort, they boarded a humanitarian bus to escape. We were on the bus and they started shelling in front of us, she says. We had to use another road. But they made it out to this bus in Lviv, bound for the Czech Republic. We're grateful from the bottom of our hearts, she says. Artem is no longer running. And we've just heard from them. They've now made it to the Czech Republic. But tonight, so many of their friends and family are still unreachable in Mariupol. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.